Last Leaves started as a very, very different book. It came about after a conversation with my housemates about suicide pacts and life stress, which is, it's a very Japanese trend. So I started writing with Mei and Sora and Kaito as the same characters, but they formed a suicide pact. But I got 13,000 words in and couldn't write another word. So I stopped and I thought about it and I thought about why and the story became something very different. It became a story about love and dignity and I think hope and difficult choices and the way we live our lives. I love a lot of Japanese poetry. I love the philosophy and the tradition around it. Samurai death poetry in particular is fascinating because it takes all of that and it's these people's last words, the last thing they put out to society. And it's, there's so much variation in there. Some of it is pensive and reflective and beautiful. Some of it is full of pride for a life well lived. And then you get some which are full of like hate and they poke at enemies and they ridicule them. And that variation is, it's fascinating. It's, it's like looking at an entire cultural way of being and expressing all in one go. I would like readers to think after reading The Last Leaves Falling about the sort of difficult, controversial end of life stuff, but also about life and the way we live it and what we want from it.